the top 20 player has once again been hit by injury woes following a successful start to 2019. Gail Monfils, photo by Chrysline Cayo, copyright at Sport Vision, France's top-ranked male player is unsure if he will be able to play in next week's Miami Masters after being forced to withdraw from the BNP Paribas Open on Thursday. Gail Monfils pulled out of his quarterfinal clash with Dominic Team due to a problem with his Achilles. During a press conference, the world number 19 confirmed that he has inflammation in his left Achilles after undergoing a scan an issue that has been bothering Monfils over the past couple of days. I felt my left Achilles a little bit. Day after day I have been treating it with my team. And last night Wednesday, after my match, it was actually not so good, Monfils told reporters in Indian Wells yesterday. I tried a little jog in the morning, and I couldn't really actually push on it, I had an ultrasound with the doctor here, in Indian Wells, and we could see, like, a big inflammation. He added, whilst not a severe injury, it is in unclear as to how long the recovery process will be. Raising the chances of Monfi skipping the Miami tournament, which relocates to the Hard Rock Stadium this year. He has already missed the past two editions of the Masters 1000 event. In 2017 he was sidelined by an ankle injury, followed by a back issue in 2018. It depends how fast I will heal. Definitely try the other treatment tonight, he said. I will take it really easy with everything and then see how I feel, if I feel that I can play Miami or not. So far it's tough to say how long, but I will stay positive and hope in a couple days I'll be fine. The setback comes after what has been a solid start to the season for the Frenchman. His win-loss record for 2019 currently stands at 14-4. At the Rotterdam Open Monfils won the eighth title in his career and only the second at an ATP 500 event. He also reached the semi-finals of tournaments in Rotterdam and Dubai. Sometimes, some people are more fragile. And I guess I'm kind of fragile with some parts of my body. The 32-year-old admits. That's why I always try new routines, I guess I need to stay tough mentally, because it's never easy. But I have been through that. I have no fear, I know, for this one injury. As a result of his withdrawal, Team will play Milos Ronic in the semi-finals at Indian Wells on Friday. The Canadian is chasing after his maiden Masters 1000 title this week. Milos Ronic photo by Chrysler Kayo, copyright at Sport Vision. This year's BNP Paribas Open has been a dream start for Milos Ronic and the latest addition to his team on the tour. The former Wimbledon finalist has reached the semi-finals of a Masters 1000 tournament for the first time in more than a year. On Thursday he defeated former world number one junior player Miomir Kekmanovic 6-3, 6-4, with the help of 13 aces. So far in the tournament, Ronick has dropped only one set in four matches played. I think the conditions are good for me, especially when the sun's out. The court heats up a little bit. There is a good amount of jump on the court. The world number 14 told reporters. This year, it's a little bit slower than the previous years but it allows me to take a few more swipes at a few more shots, and I can do different things with my serve that I need to get ahead in the point. Recently Ronick added Francis Fabrice Santoro to his team in replace of Goran Ivanisvic. Santoro is a former top 10 player who reached the quarterfinals of the 2006 Australian Open. He has previously coached Richard Gasquet. It is understood that the new collaboration is currently on a trial basis. We practice together every day. You can see how effortlessly he can do a lot of things, a lot of things that sort of surprise you, Ronick said of his new mentor. You know, he can't blow you off the court but he can make you feel pretty bad out there with the different rotations of spin, whilst some may argue that the two have very contrasting styles of play, it appears that their work ethic is much more similar. Double-handed Santoro was renowned during his career for his use of spin and pace. 
Merritt Safin once said he would rather have a root canal than play Santoro. As for Ronick, his serve is his biggest asset. I think the most important thing where we really struck a note was that we are both very meticulous about how we go about things, Ronick explains. We spent a lot of time throughout this week, together and apart, watching matches over and every again, my matches, other matches, the guys, I'm playing. Something I have always been very keen on, and he approaches it the same way, I think that kind of attention to detail can only be a good thing. He added. As to what the two are plotting, Ronick has said that Santora wants him to become more unpredictable, with it comes to his shot making. trying not to hit the same shot twice. The 28-year-old is no stranger when it comes to super coaches. Also previously working with Ivan Lubachok, Carlos Moya and John McEnroe. I think one thing that John could do just because he had a little bit more ability to generate, I think he could dictate more. I think Fabrice was more dependent on how to throw off the other guy, Rana commented when comparing McEnroe with his new coach. In Indian Wells, Ronick will play 7th seed Dominic Team in the semi-finals. The former world number one is a win away from playing in her first final for eight months. Angelique Kerber, photo by Chrysline Kayo, copyright at Sport Vision, two-time Grand Slam champion Angelique Kerber has said that she will have to battle against Belinda Bensick in their upcoming semi-final match as the BNP Paribas Open in Indian Wells. The eighth seed progressed to the last four of the tournament for the third time in her career after knocking out Venus Williams 7-6, 3-6-3. Williams entered the court with strapping on her right knee in it appearance as if the American wasn't moving as freely as she has previously done. Nevertheless, Kerber stuck to her game plan to secure victory, extending her head-to-head -head record to 6-3 against the 38-year-old. I think she played really tricky, but in a good way. It was really hard for me to play my game, also with changing the rhythm and everything, Kerber said during her press conference. I was really trying to, especially in the first set, find my rhythm and play my tennis, but it was not so easy. To play against Venus, it's always tough, I was expecting a tough match. I'm happy that I won the first set and then could move in and playing a little bit better also my tennis than in the second set, booking her place in the semi-finals of a premier mandatory event for the first time since the 2016 Miami Open, Kerber will next take on Swiss number 1 Bensic, a player she has defeated three times on the tour within the past 15 months. Despite that record, the German is under no illusion of the threat she faces. Bensic is currently on a 10-match winning streak and has won her last six meetings against top 10 opposition. Bensic is playing really flat and she's going for it. She has a lot of confidence, especially from the last weeks. It will be not an easy match. It will be a battle, said Kerber. But I'm looking forward. These are the matches I'm always looking forward to have, especially in big tournaments. I know that I have to also play aggressive and go for it, given the fact Friday's meeting would be the seventh clash between the two, Kerber is hoping that her familiarity with Bensick's game will help her clinch another win. Something that is easier said than done. When you play matches against someone a few times, you already know how she is playing or how the game plan looks like. And when you're practicing with her, it's the same. I mean, you get used to the speed, to the technique, to everything. You feel the ball, she explained. We practiced together a lot. Maybe that helped me, also, to play good matches against her in the last matches. She added, Indian Wells is Kerber's second tournament semi-final of the season after Doha. She is yet to feature in a final since defeating Serena Williams to win the Wimbledon title last July. On Thursday in the desert, the men's quarterfinals begin, while the women's quarterfinals conclude. The likes of Venus Williams and Dominic team feature in today's matches.
Venus Williams at Usta, Twitter, by Matthew Merrill. Only three of the top eight seeds advanced to the quarterfinals in both men's and women's singles, in a tournament that's been rife with upsets on the women's side. One match today features two multi-major winners, while the other features two of the WTA's best performers so far this year. On the men's side, all four men playing today have never won a major or a Masters 1000 event, but one of them will be a finalist come Sunday. Angelique Kerber, 8 vs. Venus Williams Angelique Kerber, at Ben Perry Boss Open Twitter, can Venus's dream run in tennis paradise continue? She was down a set in two breaks on Saturday against this year's best player to date, Petra Kvitova, yet still found a way to win. Venus has also won two more rounds since then, both in straight sets. After boycotting this event for 15 years, she's reached the quarterfinals are better in each of the past three years. Who would have predicted this premier mandatory event in Indian Wells would become her best tournament? But she faces another dangerous lefty today in Kerber, who holds a 5-3 career edge over Venus. Their most notable contest was in the 2016 Wimbledon semi-finals, which Kerber won in straight sets. Venus did avenge that loss a year later in Miami, but Kerber won their last meeting in Sydney just over a year ago. Kerber is coming off a draining, late-night battle against Arena Sabalenka on Tuesday, though she did get a full day's rest ahead of this quarterfinal. The slower hard court conditions should favor Kerber, but we know the crowd will be definitively behind Venus, which has already been a significant factor in this tournament. In the end, Kerber's ability to turn defense into offensive will still likely provide a bit too much resistance for Venus to overcome. Dominic Team 7 vs. Gail Monfils, 18, historically a poor performer in the second half of the year, theme turned that around in 2018. Dominic played the best hard court tennis of his career at the U.S. Open, where he upset Kevin Anderson in straight sets, and fought Nadal in a near five-hour epic in one of last year's best matches. But Thiem then struggled to start off this year, with a 3-4 record heading into this tournament. The 25-year-old Austrian is turning bad around here, having not dropped a set on his way to this Masters 1000 quarterfinal. On the other side of the net is one of 2019's hottest players. Monfils is 15-3 in 2019, and won 11 matches in February alone. The 32-year-old Frenchman was the champion in Rotterdam, and a semi-finalist in both Sofia and Dubai. And in his last two matches this week, he dropped only five games and four sets. However, he's 0-4 lifetime against Thiem. They played in Indian Wells two years ago, with Dominic winning comfortably. I'm expecting an exciting, prolonged match here between two of the ATP's most impressive athletes. As sharp and motivated as Monfils has looked, in a big match situation, I'm going with a more reliable player in theme. Other notable matches on Day 11, Belinda Bensic, at Ben Perry Boss Open, Twitter, Karolina Pliskova 5 vs. Belinda Bensic, 23, who won in Dubai a few weeks ago and upset world number 1 Naomi Osaka on Tuesday. Milos Ronic 13 vs lucky loser Miomir Kekmanovic, the 130th ranked player in the world who has capitalized on being placed in an open part of the draw.